Hello and welcome back to Sailor. We're continuing our self-denial week where we learn, pray for and raise funds for the work the Salvation Army are doing across the globe. Every year our territorial headquarters produce resources to focus our thoughts and this year they have produced some videos which look at how the Salvation Army around the world are caring for creation and responding to the problems that are being brought about by climate change. I will stop and breathe in your presence, just breathe. Today, we'll listen to The Stand, a song by Hillsong, a song where we stand before a God in awe and wonder, before a God who stood before creation, created and spoke the earth into motion, the same earth we are called to look after. But first, we're off to Indonesia to hear Colonel Yusak Tempe tell us about what the Salvation Army are doing over there. This year's self-denial appeal, we're looking at how the Salvation Army around the world is caring for creation and responding to climate change. Today, I'll be talking to Colonel Yusak Tampi in Indonesia. Indonesia is the fourth most populated country in the world after China, India and the USA, and it's highly vulnerable to extreme weather events such as floods and droughts, as well as sea level rise and shifts in rainfall patterns. Colonel Yusak Tampi is the territorial commander in Indonesia. Good afternoon, Colonel Tampi. Uh, thank you so much for being with us today. Can you tell us a little bit about the work that you're doing in Indonesia at the moment? Thank you so much. Uh, also, good afternoon or morning for you there in UK. Uh, we are serving at uh, more than 300 core and outposts. And also, uh, we run more than 100 schools public schools in the country, uh, six uh, major hospitals and various clinics, and also children's homes and even tight homes. The Salvation Army in the territory, more than 127 years uh, serving, and we are grateful with uh, almost 48,000 uh, senior soldiers uh, in, the, in the territory. So that's a little bit of the territory. Oh, fantastic. Colonel, the focus for our self-denial appeal here in the United Kingdom and Ireland Territory is care for creation. How is climate affecting Indonesia? The climate in terms of the rain season or wet season, we call it here, and dry season has not been stable. Right. Often we have longer rain season and the debits of uh, rain is much more heavier compared to the previous years. So that causes lots of floods and also landslides. Our own people lost their life, lives because of this uh, disaster. We have buildings uh, damaged, offices, quarters uh, damaged, and all people have uh, their property damaged. So most of our people are understanding the importance of caring for our creations. What adaptions are you making within the territory to deal with this? Have you got new projects, new programs that you're putting in place to deal with, with the impact of climate change? Yes, I think one of uh, one or a number of ways uh, that we have been uh, trying to do is uh, through education on environmentally friendly farming, for example. Uh, we have been initiating uh, trainings uh, uh, through agriculture initiatives, uh, uh, informing people the importance of, uh, of uh, running their farm uh, environmentally uh, friendly. Mm -hmm. At the same time for the urban settings, uh, I think we need to be more uh, leading our people towards uh, how to handle rubbish, for example. As the church, we need to find ways uh, to introduce how we handle or manage uh, waste or rubbish in the urban setting so that uh, people are aware of the importance to handle plastics, for example, which uh, may damage our sea. As you know, in Indonesia, we have lots of beautiful seas, uh, seasides, beaches, but uh, there have been also news 
that those beaches have been damaged because of the plastics uh, uh, damaging the sea, for example. Mm. Uh, Colonel Tampi, we are, you know, we are far away from you, but we're brothers and sisters in Christ because we're part of one army. What can we be praying for for you as a territory? I would uh, suggest or ask to pray for the uh, implementation of the Fission 21-25, of which uh, uh, we are uplifting the main theme of consecrated for mission beyond borders, uh, meaning that we would like to make sure that consecration of people is being uh, emphasized, being thought of, uh, being a discipleship, uh, soldiership is being uh, part of the main focus for the territory. But at the same time, we also long to see the Salvation Army is expanding to various islands and uh, we are excited about it. At the same time, towards being a territory, uh, fully self-support in 25 and 2030, mm -hmm. so that we can also be a territory that uh, is able to provide support for the other territories mm -hmm. who are probably less privileged than us. That's the sense of core that we have um, with this vision 21. 25. No, it's a God-honouring vision, Colonel. Thank you for sharing it. You'll be assured of our prayers and thank you so much for your Thanks time today. Thank you. Bless you. Next time, I'll be talking to Lorraine Medina in Costa Rica. Thank you.